Welcome, welcome. Today we're going to talk about qualification missions and the options that you have whenever you do uh, want to do a qualification mission. Um, yeah, as you can see, I haven't done my uh, multi engine piston as well as my heavy jet qualifications yet. And so um, one tip for whenever you're wanting to do these, a lot of times at least in the past, they've gotten better with it, but you go to load in a qualification mission, and it's like a thousand nautical miles away. And I look at that, and I'm like, I don't, I don't have time to do that. I don't want to do that. You know, what are my options? Well, you can, um, you can keep clicking it again, and so like, it's gotten a lot better. So now it's a seventy nautical mile mission, but for some reason, if you did not want to fly to that airport for whatever reason, you can go back to the tab and click it again. And it takes you to a different airport. And you can see this one's actually a private one. This got X's all over it. So you go back to it, click it again. And that takes you to a golf course one, which is pretty cool. So that's a tip to do a qualification mission that you want. Um, a lot of times, if you are getting checked out in a real aircraft, um, you kind of get to pick, get get to pick with your flight instructor which airports you you get to fly to. And so this is much more real world that you get to you know determine where you're going. So. Um, Take advantage of this and, and pick an, an airport that um, is not under the minimums of the aircraft, especially if it's taken into a, a 1,500-foot grass airstrip. You know, take a look at the airport, do the flight planning, make sure you know where you're going into. That way you can have a successful qualification mission and, and have a lot of fun doing it. So if you like these type of videos, feel free to like and subscribe. Check out my uh, content, and uh, we'll see you next time.